2021 Toyota Camry XLE V6 Review, Nailing the Basics But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The Toyota Camry has enjoyed a healthy run as America's best-selling mid-size car over the last 19 years. However, competitors like the Honda Accord, Hyundai Sonata, and Kia K5 have really stepped up to the plate, pushing what consumers come to expect in terms of technology, value for money, and comfort, effectively shrinking the Camry's lead. With its rival sales figures growing steadily, this sensible sedan has to offer more to stay on top. The 2021 Toyota Camry we've been testing is an XLE V6, the second highest trim level available, with a $37,079 price tag. In theory, our well-optioned tester should showcase this vehicle at its best. Instead, we get a sedan that, while comfortable, good-looking, and well-equipped, lacks its competitors' refinement, handling characteristics and overall charm. The current Toyota Camry has been around since 2018, and despite being over four years old at this point, it's aged well. Horizontal lines in the Camry's grille help visually widen the car as they nearly span the width of the front bumper. Chrome trim surrounds the grille, contrasting our tester's dark blueprint paint. Along the sides, a strong shoulder line connects the front and rear quarter panels while cutting through both doors. This sharp styling element helps break up the smooth lines of the Camry's sides, making it look sportier. Chrome surrounds the windows, although it doesn't provide as much contrast as in the front, likely due to the light passing through the glass. The rear of the Camry plays it safe with tamer styling elements. While the large boomerang-shaped LED taillights stand out, the black plastic diffuser blends in, especially on a vehicle wearing darker paint. The primary styling cue that connects the rear to the front is a single prominent line that almost runs the bumper's width. Despite our tester being an XLE, this loaded Camry doesn't look all that different from its cheaper alternatives. One of the main differentiating factors is the set of 18-inch wheels, upgraded from the 17s found in the base model. Additionally, the XLE benefits from LED daytime running lights. If you want even sportier styling for this sensible sedan, you'll need the SE, XSE, or TRD trim levels. The exterior differences between our XLE and a base LED don't immediately stand out, but their interiors are miles apart. The seats in our tester featured Toyota's soft text material, a faux leather that visually, at least, gets close to the real thing. While the material is ultra soft to the touch, its smooth texture and overall lack of heft feel a bit flimsy. Despite this, soft text is a significant upgrade over the rough feeling fabric options found in lower trim levels. The synthetic leather also covers parts of the dash, door panels, and door cards, meaning that most of the surfaces you touch feature it instead of rubber or hard plastic, making the interior feel slightly more premium. For the 2021 model year, Toyota opted to axe the 7.0-inch infotainment screen that sat flush with the dash in favor of one of identical size that sticks out vertically instead. While the rest of the layout remains largely unchanged, this one element significantly transforms the car's interior aesthetic, interrupting the soft lines of the dash with a prominent rectangle in the middle. As a result, the Camry's interior feels a bit disjointed, as if the screen was an afterthought. Looks aside, the Camry's interior is a comfy place to be. With a pair of 8-way power adjustable front seats, dialing in the correct seating position is easy. Additionally, the chairs have excellent padding, providing good comfort even over long distances. The position of the chairs means that getting in and out of the Camry is not a challenge. While heated seats come standard on the XLE, cooling is an optional extra. Detracting from the front row's comfort is the Camry's 38.3 inches of headroom. For context, competitors such as the Hyundai Sonata and Kia K5 both offer 40 inches or more, leaving the Toyota feeling a bit more cramped in comparison. Overall, the car's front has less of an open, airy feeling than what you get in either the Hyundai or Kia. The Camry's second row is rather average for the class. With 38.3 inches, there's slightly more headroom than the sunroof-equipped K5 or Sonata, 37.4 inches each, and a healthy advantage in leg space at 38.0 inches to 35.2 and 34.8, respectively. But if you really need space, the Honda Accord's 40.4 inches of legroom makes up for its negligible disadvantage in headspace. The Camry also struggles to haul cargo, its 15.1 cubic foot trunk trails the competition, all of which pack 16 cubes or more.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.